Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 7th episode of Tonari no Kyuketsuki-san. And in the last episode, we had a double date, and it was a lot of fun. So, let's get into this episode and see what we're going to have fun doing today. 3, 2, 1, play. Beach episode? Yes, I think we are having a beach episode. <laughs> Looking really good there, Hinata. Good god. Just, can I see that shot again? I, oh god. Uh, it, this feels like a dream sequence almost though, so... I don't know if what I'm looking at is real here. Maybe it is. <laughs> Are you joking? This is amazing. I mean, I guess it would be less fun for a, a vampire, but good god, man, just... <laughs> Hinata has it going on, that's, that's all I'm gonna say. Just, I... I'm gonna go back and screenshot a couple things later on when this is all said and done. Just... just to let you know. But, uh... Yeah, that was a great way to start the episode. Like, it's a straight-up beach episode. Which, of course, a vampire girl's not super enthused by, but... I mean, she'll... she'll deal with it. I mean, sure, Sophie and Ellie might not be a big fan of this activity, but I'd say we are, you know. Hinata, just, I'm glad Hinata's here, that's all I'm gonna say. I just love this slide, like, I just, this is just a very nice little part of the opening. It's an amazing opening in general, like, one of the best of the season, I mean, some of the amazing shots we get. Like them cuddling in the coffin together. Like, it doesn't get much more Yuri than that. Like, this is the most Yuri-ish opening of the season. Which is saying something, so there is an actual Yuri show airing this show. This season. With Yagate Kimini Naru. And even that's less Yuri than this opening. <laughs> Summer break spent with a vampire. I'm sure it'll be spent well. I do one of you and Saoki will be here, probably not. Yeah, I mean, that I'm, I'm having fun. I don't see why somebody wouldn't be. <laughs> well... <laughs> that does sound pretty bad when you put it like that. I guess that's what people mean when they say one person's heaven is another person's hell. Did they literally just kidnap her, basically? Because that's pretty messed up. I mean, if you want to kidnap me and bring me there, just feel free. <laughs> I mean, you look pretty good in the swimsuit, if you, if you don't mind me saying. Yes, they, they do. No, it's, it's a great idea. Don't no need to feel bad. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. <laughs> Just so much exposed skin to the sunlight. Yeah, I mean... I'm sure she did. She's a vampire too. Is that a blood pool? Like literally a, a pool full of blood? I, t I guess that's one way to enjoy, enjoy the beach. <laughs> That's how power I would enjoy the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna be in here if you guys need me. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's dark and cramped, of course you would like it. That was a short-lived beach episode, but I still enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, all joking aside, that was probably a bad idea, but your feelings were in the right place. I mean, a test of courage? Yeah, 
Yes, it sounds very fun. Is that basically a test of courage? <laughs> wow, Sophie. I just... <laughs> I don't know what to say about you sometimes. Yeah, but she doesn't want to do anything, I swear. Aside from sitting at home all day on the internet. Which I can relate to, but still. <laughs> oh, Just, yeah, we need more of that. So quiet. She's alone with her doll. You always just go into bed with her and snuggle. That's what I would suggest. You know, that one shot in the opening, just do something like that. If she can fit a Daki Makura in there, she can fit you. <laughs> Is that scary? You want to go back in? <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's scary how much I can relate to that vampire sometimes. I'm just busy playing with all the dolls. <laughs> It's not creepy at all. I mean, if you could do it, that'd probably be pretty beneficial. Yeah, just I, I may have a terrible sleep schedule myself, but... And it was horrible. I mean, the schedule will be difficult for a vampire because, you know... Because she can only go out at night, you know? <laughs> yes. Not a good sleep schedule for a vampire. Is that a shaved ice maker? <laughs> of course it's red for blood. <laughs> Well, yes, it's pretty cold. That's the whole idea. It's literally ice. Uh, oh, God. That is... Yeah, I couldn't put it better myself. That's just horrifying. Uh, I know, right? It does look pretty hot and sweaty. If you need to take off some clothes, feel free. Really? Uh, oh. <laughs> yes, this is what we needed. No, we need to encourage more of that. <laughs> yes, come on, Sophie. Oh. Well, not great. <laughs> not exactly. Morning glory. Uh, well, yeah, that would make sense. That'd make it difficult for Sophie to see. <laughs> it's hard to make a relationship between a human and a vampire work, isn't it? Uh... Ellie? Yeah, that's Ellie. What's up? Looking at flowers or trying to? <laughs> you know, like a normal person? Reasonable. I mean... I could think of some suggestions. What are we watching here? Yes, it's anime. Don't get that wrong. 
It's always hard to tell when anime characters are watching anime or if they're watching something live action from their perspective. <laughs> but yes, this has given us a good idea, of course. Yeah. They're, they're very different things. Yep, that's something we can do together. We finally figured it out thanks to the help of anime. Because anime can just solve so many problems. And man, she is pretty good with that thing. I mean, she's the doll girl, so <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> now she's getting excited. <laughs> yes, think of it as cosplay. Very nice looking. Yes, let's hurry up and change you. The camera was not in the right spot, I'm sorry to say. Wow, that looks really cool. It doesn't look super feminine like like uh like Harley's does, but still looks very nice. <laughs> doesn't I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yes, it does. Are you going to wear one, or...? <laughs> What's yours going to look like? Looks pretty good, I would say. I don't like it as much as, you know, Sophie's, but uh, it still looks nice. Well, it's not like you're going to be running in, running in it or anything. Uh oh. Let's do this. <laughs> That is some some nice fans are for the foot fetishists out there. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, you shouldn't have told her that. I as soon as she said that, man, I knew. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if they were all smaller, they'd be like the best dolls ever. Are you not going to wear one? Yes, they all look really good in them. I mean, you look pretty good in some of your outfit choices, so... I don't mean to feel too bad. Oh, did you really? <laughs> well, it looks like you're joining in. Have to join in with the fun, Hinata. You, you can't say no. You have, uh... uh... The camera lingered on her longer than it did for the other girls, but... Definitely some good belly, if nothing else. <laughs> uh, I know, right? I love you, Sophie. Huh, you actually do look really good on that. More so than I thought. Still, I think a nice pair of shorts look really good on her, too. Are you moving, cat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if only they could read their minds. <laughs> I don't think they, uh, they got what you are going for there. Definitely having fun. Yes, the cotton candy kind of matches our yukata. <laughs> I still like Sophie's the best. Sophie's just looks so cool. <laughs> I don't think we have that, but you can look around. Who knows? It isn't looking fish. I mean, they don't all look like goldfish to me. I mean, that's more or less what you're doing, I guess. Like that big blue one, does that, does that qualify as a goldfish? <laughs> yeah. Oh, a present.
you can eat it. <laughs> yeah, I knew that's what she was thinking. Uh. Nice little flower and uh, use hair. Hey, yeah, nice that you and Sakuya got to go. <laughs> wow. The sibling. The little sister. And fireworks time. <laughs> they got the better seats. I mean, two of them can fly, so... But not as beautiful as our main girls. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't seem to understand the beauty of something that's, you know, temporary. I wouldn't say forever, but, uh... I get the idea. Oh. <laughs> Making it a bit more romantic, I see. I certainly appreciate that. Huh. This is nice. Oh, wow. Squeezing the hand harder. This is going full on. Super duper, just... <laughs> uh, poor Hinata doesn't have a waifu. It's... I'm sorry, Hinata. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's how you can get some good seats. But you probably shouldn't do that in front of people. We'll survive. What did we say? Well, yeah, but vampires aren't supposed to be real. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yes, that's the takeaway from that. But yeah, unfortunately for you, Hinata, just... You're not the girl that's meant to be shipped with Akari. That's Sophie's job. A present? Oh. Okay. That's a good compromise. That's actually pretty clever. That's a great idea, Akari. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a detail we need to mention. <laughs> but yeah, that was another pretty good episode. <laughs> I just... One of the best parts of the ED is just... Ellie looking away from the mirror with the makeup on. But of course, like, almost every bit of the ED is amazing, so... Take that for what you will. Just Ellie all over Sophie there. I do appreciate a show that makes it easy to ship, like, multiple ways. Because you can ship almost any main girl with any other main girl on this show and you can make a good case for it. <laughs> Maids. Uh, then looking forward to the next episode. <laughs> I still want to see Sophie and Akari cuddle together in his coffin. Just give me that, please, show. Skater? Yeah, Summer's still going. Uh, that's a bad spot to be in, Sophie. Why are you there? Like, you're kind of trapped. <laughs> well, how did you get here? Did you, like, fall asleep by, by the tree at night? That's not a walk, that's a fly. Okay, so it's basically what I thought it was. <laughs> that's a bad situation to be in. <laughs> Although not as bad as it could have been. What if she fell asleep somebody with no shade? That would have been, like, horrible. <laughs> I 
Are you going to count? Wow. Oh, Sophie. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing with vampires, but I, I guess I know now. Roku. We skipped a lot. <laughs> Are we gonna get to the end? Maybe she didn't fall asleep. I guess she just was just so preoccupied with that that she lost track of time. So it's not exactly the same, but it's basically the similar idea. That is a lot. Yeah, that was not a good thing to do. Yeah, what do we do for now? So I guess just wait for more, wait for night. How would that help you? Even if you could, you'd have to be able to leave to buy one. <laughs> Is there even a nearby payphone? I thought the episode was over, it's just... Yeah, that's like a last resort, so it may come down to that. Yeah, you're pretty, it's pretty much bedtime for you, so. But you don't want to fall asleep and have the shade, like, change. That could be pretty bad. Yeah, like that. That's what I was worried about. Please don't murder a giraffe. Yeah, you, you really need to move, Sophie, like, now. You're kind of losing it. Yeah, you don't want to fall asleep. You need to be able to adjust with the shade. That's like, that's a terrifying position to be in. But she said. That's poor Sophie. That's horrible. Akari, how did you know she was there? I guess she just looked everywhere until she found her. Collect? That's an interesting way to phrase it. <laughs> I mean, she'd be an adorable Shinigami. Oh, Yeah, I'm sure she was so worried. But she, she has a right to be. I mean, this is pretty dangerous. This is why it's good to have a wife, because she can worry about you when you don't come home at night. At, at day. Well, she can't just walk next to you if that's what you're implying. You need to give her something. Oh, Akari. Yeah, I knew she was going to stop her, but... I guess just having her be with her is good enough. Which is understandable. And very cute. It's a bit of an unorthodox date, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. That was a pretty good way to end off the little little situation there. But okay, that was the seventh episode of Tonari no Kyuketsuki san Like I said, another really good episode. Now, uh, we actually started off with a beach episode. <laughs> I mean, it didn't last that long, which makes sense. You know, two of our main girls can't really do a beach episode. So it's certainly, I, I can certainly understand why there wouldn't be too much time dedicated to that. But I did like the time we did get dedicated because we did get to see Akari and Hinata in swimsuits playing with each other in the water. Looking very good in those swimsuits. Hinata especially just looking very good in those just shorts. Like, good God, that one shot. I mean, that... That 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 is something, but yeah, they had a great time. But the real, like I said, the problem was the fact that the vampires aren't very big on the whole beach episode shenanigans because that involves sunlight, running water. It's just it's not their thing. Even Ellie, who seems to have some interest in the idea, does it at home because that's more reasonable. She just sits in a literal pool of blood, with the beach on the TV, like how a modern person would, you know, enjoy the beach. But, uh, yeah, but Sophie was just kidnapped, basically. So she didn't get to enjoy it very much. I just, I felt bad for, like, 
both Hinata, uh, no, both Sophie and Akari because Akari just wants to spend time with Sophie. She just wanted to have fun at the beach with her, you know, with her wife and just, she just can't do it because she's just, the, the sunlight's bad for her. It just doesn't work out. So yeah, it just, it sucked for everyone involved, you know, but, uh, you know, just, we just put Sophie back in the case and just brought her home. She likes the, you know, cramped, dark places because she's a vampire. But yeah, at that point, it became a matter of what can we do together that would be summer vacation themed that Sophie can actually do without dying a horrible death. And thanks to anime, we were able to figure out that the, like a, a festival, you know, at night with fireworks and everything, that would be the ideal thing to do. And Akari whipped up some yukata for everyone to wear, and then we got to see them wear it, which was great. First we saw Akari wear hers, which it did suit her very well. It was pink, you know, very, very girly, but very nasty design. It suited her well. But then we saw Sophie's. Sophie's was easily my favorite because hers was just a very, it was very cool, cute. Just, I love the color scheme of it. I don't know, I just really love the design a lot. Just, Sophie looked great in it. And then we saw, you know, Ellie wears hers, which was pretty good too. And then we saw Hinata, who actually, it seemed like they were building up, building up her to not wear it at first. But then he's like, no, 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 Hinata, we, we got one for you too, right guys? So uh, yeah, I just put it on and then they just took off her clothes. And we got to see a little bit of that belly before I cut away, which is something I appreciate. And then we got to see her wear the yukata, which yeah, she looked really good in that too. Like I would say, aside from Sophie, she looked the best in that yukata, just much better than I expected. Although I do usually enjoy her normal attire quite a bit. And, uh, and then we went to the festival. They had a bit of a bit of a misunderstanding, I think, about Hinata's feelings on wearing the yukata, which was definitely amusing. But also the vampires, clearly not used to this sort of thing, expecting some sort of blood booths. But that, you know, there wouldn't be any blood-themed booths. We, 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 we got goldfish, though. But no, you do not eat them, Sophie, I'm sorry to say. You don't put them on your rice or whatever. I mean, I guess you could, but I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it. It's certainly not typical, that's for sure. But yeah, we did get to see the fireworks, which was great. We were higher up than most people, so we got to see it better. And Sophie, like, I kind of skipped over this before. But yeah, Sophie, we wanted to show her flowers at first, but they were like morning glory, so they couldn't really show them at night. But uh, the, the point of that scene was that it really showed Sophie's mentality, that she doesn't really see the value in something that, like, shines briefly and then just, like, flickers out. Like, she doesn't really see any real worth there. And she had a similar, and that kind of foreshadowed the whole, her opinion on the fireworks. But then you had Akari explain to her that, you know, no, it has value because it's so brief, you know, it just stays with you and your memories for a long time and all that. And that was just a very nice scene. It was very much came across as a date, you know, we even had hand holding and then like, like tighter hand holding afterwards, if that makes sense. So it was, I, I enjoyed that quite a lot. And then Hinata just getting jealous because, you know, she likes Akari. So, you know, that was pretty funny. I quite enjoyed the scene a lot. Definitely really enjoyable. And then we had like a bit of a stinger where we're just like a full on scene of a, of Sophie being lost in the middle of the day, stranded basically, until Akari finally showed up to rescue her. But you know, rather than have Akari get an umbrella or something, she just had her stay with her, with her sitting side by side, spending time with each other until nightfall. You know, when they could go home together. And I really, really like how that ended. That was a really nice ending. You just you got to see Sophie so kind of scared and alone for a while. You know, stranded, not knowing what to do, just really worried, you know, and then you just had Akari show up to make everything better. Not to take her away from the situation, but to just make that situation much more bearable into something actually enjoyable, something nice, something pleasant. And it just became a full-on date. I just really liked how that scene panned out. Just, yeah, that was probably one of my favorite individual scenes of the whole show. Like, I enjoyed that a lot. So, you know, I hope you guys did as well. Uh, any, any, any more thoughts on this? Uh... Just the sleep schedule thing was kind of funny because, you know, a vampire really kind of has to have a nocturnal sleep schedule because they wouldn't be able to go outside like ever otherwise. So definitely makes sense. See, so, yeah, just the swimsuits were great. Everyone enjoying the, the beach episode their own way. But yeah, really great stuff. I look forward to the next episode. Thank you for watching and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.